Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Now, I don't know if you can tell that this is an impromptu video, but it is. And it's just something I want to do. So, a couple of videos back, I was talking about, like, making videos for Royalty Soaps and what people actually wanted to see. And a surprising amount of comments said, like, just do what you like doing and there you go. So I've wanted to do this for a very long time. Is there a reason why I should do it for the camera? Not really. Am I gonna do it anyway? Absolutely. So this year, 2021, I have seen in my personal Instagram feed a lot more influencers and people that other people want to follow wearing 90s style jewelry and Urban Outfitters like started selling all of these plastic jewelry necklaces like the type we used to make in middle school for a lot of money. And I have always loved those necklaces and bracelets, like always, but I kind of forgot about them in my adult life. Now in my childhood, the thing I remember the most about those bracelets and necklaces was them breaking. <laughs> I didn't know how to tie them. I don't think I was using very high quality stretchy cord and they just broke all the time. So I wanna make some of those stretchy bracelets, but I wanna make them in such a way that they won't break every time I try to put them on, okay? So I went and looked up some of the supplies that I needed in a tutorial and then I went to Amazon and I got this huge kit of beads. And then after I did that, I felt a little bit guilty because I got this off of Amazon and I could have bought this from some small shops. So then I went and bought absolutely loads of beads from Etsy shops. Now I will leave all of the shops and all of the products that I'm using in today's video down in the description box below. So if you see something you really, really like, you can go get it. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't exactly measure anything. I just picked beads I thought looked pretty and now I have a small amount of regret because some of them are flea flopping massive and I will never wear them in reality. The good thing is I have a lot of little girls in my life who will probably love them, so they certainly won't go to waste. That was a lot of talking, but I think it pretty much accurately depicts about how I feel this video is going to go. So my long plan, my very in-depth plan here, is just to get some bracelets, both in adult size and child size, that I think look cute, that don't break, and then of course, supporting all the small shops that I purchased from. So let's go ahead and unpack some stuff, shall we? So first of all, here are the beads, okay? Lots of colors and I got them in a matte finish cause I felt like that was prettier. And then here are some of the tools that I got. I got two pliers cause apparently I'm gonna need those. I got some like, liquid cement because apparently I'm going to need that too to kind of seal everything. And the tutorial that I watched recommended Opalon as the like string to use. So that's what I got. I also got some jump rings to help attach charms if they don't come with a jump ring. And then some snip snip tools, which maybe I could have just used some scissors, but I don't know, so I erred on the side of safety. So first of all, I have these super chonky beads. Like I have very large hands and you can see how big these beads are. They're from Boutique Craft Supplies on Etsy and I got them in pastel sherbet, Morocco, and peach zest. I just really liked all those colors. Next up from Madison Bead Shop, I got these little Santas because I thought they were so cute. And also these little stars and she gave me two little freebie hearts which are heckin' cute. These are also from an Etsy shop. Next up I got these little pearly beads from Beads to Bows. They have a lot of different sizes and honestly this is my biggest regret already is not getting this size and opting for like these enormous, I, I already talked about it, but like ever since I saw these come in the mail, I'm like, I have made a mistake. I got these cute little mushrooms from Rivers of Joy Jewelry. And they gave me like a little bag of goodies with my order, which is super cool. And then there are a couple of more shops that I will link down below that I only bought like one or two items from and it ends up looking like this. Okay, using my little snipping tool, I'm just gonna snip. And then what I did was I just put my wrist down and I kind of measured like this. 
I know I'm going to have to tie it and I know I still have to glue it. So I tried to leave as much as I think is necessary for doing both of those tasks. I don't know if that's going to be enough though. So we'll see. Then I'm just going to lay it out uh, and we're going to start picking beads. I did purchase all of these beads with the holidays in mind. So I think we'll start by just doing a classic sort of like pink, red, green, maybe a little bit of cream in there. Uh, bracelet with some of the smaller items and then maybe doing one with some of the bigger items. Okay, so let's pull out some green and pink beads, maybe even some peach beads as well. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'll just take a small handful of everything. The amount of stress I'm experiencing trying not to get different colored beads into the wrong part of the container, it's just something I'm trying to ignore. <laughs> Okay, here are all my little bead colors. And then I think maybe we should try to do like some stars and maybe a snowflake. Uh, maybe I'll even throw in these two beads that I got for free. And then like some of these little pearls and like a Santa Claus maybe? Maybe two Santa Clauses. <laughs> Ooh, these pearls feel like really high quality. Like they're heavy. Maybe I shouldn't get so many out at a time. They also seem to want to roll around. All right, here are all the beads. Here is the opalons. So let's start figuring out like which ones we should use. I think I should put a snowflake right here. And if I'm gonna have two Santa Clauses, it might look kind of strange for them to be right next to each other. So maybe I'll put them right there, even though that'll put them close to each other whenever we connect the ends, won't it? So maybe like this, maybe that's far enough away. And then the other specialty beads that look kind of different, maybe I'll throw in right here. I have no idea if this is supposed to be the way you plan out a bracelet, but it seems to be working all right so far. So I guess we'll just stick with it. Maybe add in some pearls. And then I kind of like the bright green, but well, yeah, I think the bright green is gonna be best. So let's put some bright green in here. This is already harder than I thought it was gonna be. Like, no lie, I thought I was just gonna sit here and put beads together, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I hope this looks good. Uh, if all else fails, I guess we'll put a lot of pastel things in a row. <laughs> Let's add some more of this peachy color, cause I feel like that's a nice addition. And we can maybe put a couple of the pinks in a row to kind of show, oh, here's a nice gradient. La di da. I think that's good. That looks good to me. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just start by stringing this first bead. And I'm sorry. I already know. I can hear it now. I am sorry for my stained fingernails. It's from peeling a pomegranate. It's not from dirt, I promise. I also know I'm gonna wanna make this tight, but not too tight. Cause if I make it too tight, uh, it won't go on comfortably and that is not a vibe. All right, Santa Claus, is this gonna be easy? Because if not, oh, I don't think so. That's okay. I got a special <gasps> beading needle so I can put this through here and pull it through the beads. Now, how is this a big slit all the way down? <gasps> it is. Look how big that opening is on this needle. Like that's really easy to pull something like this through. Ah, oh, that, that feels ingenious. <laughs> it feels ingenious to me. And then this is curved. <gasps> This would have made beading as a kid so much easier. Of course, it's a little bit sharp and pointy and I can see why parents would be like, hey, maybe we don't give sharp and pointy things to children. But I can't help but think of how big of a help it would have been. <laughs> okay, so there's one side. Ouch, okay, so that really hurt. Um, definitely don't give this to children, bad idea. This silicone bead is so cool. I wish I had purchased so many more of those. Ooh, let's stack them up. <laughs> let's see how many I can get and then I can let them all drop at the same time. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Excellent, cool. Okay, let's see like if that's enough beads. I feel like it will be, but maybe not. So let me just take this needle out because <laughs> danger. And then I'll kind of like loop this over a couple of times to make sure that it like won't fall off. Okay, 
Um, I feel like I need to tighten it. Like, the amount of beads might be too many because it's making the bracelet really big. So I'm just going to start by pulling two beads off the ends and maybe that's a little bit more like what we want to work with. See, but if I do that, you can see the wire and I really don't, I really don't want to see it. So they're going back on. <laughs> All right. I think I've got to the very end of it. I'm pleased. I think that's pretty good. I kind of just want one Santa Claus. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm going to change is subbing that out for another star. Or actually, let's go with one of these pink beads. Okay. All right. I think, I think we're done. That took a really long amount of time, like surprisingly. <laughs> So now I'm going to go back to that video that I watched to see how I need to tie this bracelet off and how I need to glue it so that it won't come undone. So after watching the tutorial, I realized I'm not supposed to cut the opal on yet and I have to string it a second time through the bracelet. So let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back, okay? I tied off the bracelet and I snipped off the extra bit of Opalon and I was surprised at how quickly the liquid cement came out like it just kept balling up so I had to wipe it down and quick replace the lid so that no more would come out but this is the finished bracelet and while I love it and I think it looks cute I clearly tied the opalon too tight because these little beads shouldn't be puckering it should be laying nice and flat and have a little bit of give and still not show any of the white cords so that's something to improve upon also it is clearly too small whenever I kind of compared it to my wrist I saw that I needed to add at least like four more beads. So I was right with my gut instinct the first time. And I guess this will be a bracelet for Lily. And I'm gonna move along to building a bracelet with those huge baubles because I feel like that's gonna be a little bit easier. And I can try some of the techniques I just learned like quickly adding the cement and um, not making things too tight. Everything started out great. So I got my beads, I was feeling the color palette. I was like, these are kind of chunky, but it's all gonna be okay. And after beating everything through and even going around the second time, I realized there was one too many beads on the bracelet and that it was gonna be too big for my wrist. I also thought at one point I had like completely messed up and twisted everything, but turns out it was fine that time. 40 minutes later and I have a bracelet. <laughs> oh my gosh. This chunky one nearly killed me and um, I don't know how it's even gonna look because I have to let it sit and cure and get nice and finished. Honestly, I like the little one a lot more, but I love the beads on the chunky one because these sparkles are just doing it for me. So it has been 24 hours and the binding on the bracelets uh, is fully cured, which is awesome. Now, I still don't know how I feel about this one. It's just... It's just really big, but again, kind of fun. And also I feel like that bead I took off, I should have put back on because look, here's this big gap um, and I could move it around so it could be at the bottom, but looks like it needed that extra bead. I'm just not, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have a weird shaped wrist, but this little kid bracelet that I made is like, Perfect. It's just the right amount of stretch. What an incredible learning experience it has been. Well, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Again, I know this video was like super different from anything we normally do. I just wanted to do it. I wanted to be chatty and I wanted to make some silly fun bracelets that would be fun for kids to wear and, and wouldn't break. So there you go. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. I already know that this video probably won't have as many views on it because it's so weird, but for those of y'all who enjoyed it and like wanted to chit chat and stuff I appreciate you thanks for being here be sure you do something fun for yourself today like going out and making some bracelets again use my tips don't buy this cheapo uh things from Amazon you're a lot better buying from a small shop that is reputable 
uh, on Etsy and you'll just get better quality that way. Like if you're already going to spend time and money making these, do it right. <laughs> you'll thank yourself later. Or maybe you would rather just support a small shop on Etsy by purchasing a bracelet fully made that you can wear with all of your fun holiday outfits. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I will see you guys in the next Soap Miss video. So until tomorrow, bye for now. Yeah.